Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I think this is my first time to see so many youth uh, gathered in one, uh, you know, at one location, discussing uh, very uh, crucial matters that will help us move the country uh, forward. So uh, I wish to also uh, give my uh, thanks to the organizers who have put together uh, such a, an event to make sure that our youth become part and parcel of the development of this country uh, at different levels. And as I was listening to the previous guests or speakers who are talking uh, before me, who have addressed most of the issues uh, from the, the government perspective in terms of the big four agendas, that is really keen on opening up the economy of this country. And this cannot be achieved without the participation of the youth of this country. Because we make up 70% of the population of this country are made up of youth. And this tells you that without your involvement, without you participating, this country will not be able to move forward or achieve its, you know, the desired level of development that we are looking forward to, to achieve. Now, uh, I'm coming from a completely different sector from, uh, as, as you heard from the previous speakers who are from the government agencies, uh, the UN, uh, United Nations, full on year program. I'm coming from the financial sector in the country, from a bank called Gulf African Bank. And we chose to be part of this uh, event uh, today. And hopefully, we will be definitely participating in the future events that are coming up to make sure that we support the youth who are going into uh, entrepreneurship, who are going to start up their own businesses to make sure that you achieve your dreams in developing a sustainable businesses that will be able to contribute to the overall development of this country. As a bank, we have taken a deliberate uh, focus to deal with, one, the youth. For the very obvious reasons which I mentioned, it's, it's a population that we cannot ignore. If you look at today, the SMEs in this country, we have over 7.8 million registered small businesses. The number is actually much higher than that if you look at the unregistered businesses that are running across the country. And you will realize more than 60% are run by youth and women. And these are two areas as a bank we are very much focusing on to make sure that we support these two uh, segments of the society in making sure that they achieve their uh, business objective. And I mean, you, you, you are fresh. A lot, most of you are fresh from the universities, fresh from schools. And this is the time you're trying to start something or you're looking for uh, employment. And they, and they usually say, if you don't start something and build your future or build your dream, you'll be hired by someone else to help him build his. When you go into employment, you're building someone's, you know, someone else's dream. Why can't you build yours? And as a financial institution, we are here and ready to support you, to finance your startups, to finance any kind of venture you're going into. So please, my word is to let us go into entrepreneurship. Let us do it to make sure that you get all the financial you know, services or need that you will need to establish a business. And you need to dream big. <clears throat> the previous speaker mentioned of the, you know, the, the, the development in the ICT. Globally, if you looked, he talked about the 10, you know, I, I don't know what those 10, the world's richest people, the three most richest people are coming into the country. And if you look at the background of those people, these are people who have done a lot of spaces. Their startups, when they were at a very early age, mostly in the technology field. If you look at Facebook, which is actually one of the biggest things we're using as youth, all these were started by youth. Apple, which is one of the most, uh, you know, the most valued company in the, globally, was started by few youth who were in the university at that time. 
So what is stopping us from starting something and sustaining it and making one of the biggest things globally? We have the capacity. I was looking at the CVs of the, uh, the, 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 the employability youth who have done the employability program. We are not short of talent. From petroleum engineering, ICT, business administration, actuarial science, this country is not short of skills, is not short of education, is not short of young, young women and men who have what it takes to start a business that can take this country to the global, uh, to, to the world map. So please, let us not waste our time looking for to be employed, to be paid a small salary here and there. Let us establish our own businesses and employ the rest of the youth who are with us. We can do it. It is being done out there, out there globally. We are no exception. If you look at the African continent, I think Kenya is one of the countries where you can get, you know, skilled, you know, people who are educated in all fields. Which our neighbors, as close as Uganda, Tanzania, they don't have. And that's why today you are finding all the global companies who want to set a base in the continent, their number one choice is becoming Kenya. Why? Because of the talent we have. So we are not short of the talent in this country. We just need to challenge ourselves. We need to dream big. And we need to make sure that we go out there and start these businesses so that we can build ourselves, build the society, and also create an employment for the rest of the, the youths who are out there. <clears throat> as our commitment uh, as, as a bank to the youth agenda, <clears throat> and we have a whole unit that is dealing with the youth banking uh, in the Gulf African Bank, country, in the bank, where we are supporting youth from all levels, from three-year-old kid training them in terms of uh, how to start saving plans and you know how to manage the financial uh, the financial uh, you know money to the youth who are at the secondary schools or at the colleges or the universities providing with them all the services that they need to the youth like you who have just completed your education and want to go into the business world we finance them you know as what well, you know what would you call uh, startup capitals to start their businesses. I know the Youth Fund has been doing a lot of work uh, across the country, but of course the, the, the fund they have been giving may not really be sufficient enough to start a sustainable business. That's why we said we need to come in and give you funds that will be, you know, enable you to start a proper business. The government has also done where they're giving 30% of the tenders to youth and women and people with disabilities. As bank, we say, because when you're giving the tender to the most of these groups, they don't have the financial, you know, muscles to do the project. So you'll find most of the time they're left out. Even if they win a tender or they get discouraged because I can't, even if I win the tender or get the LPO, I don't have the money to do the supplies. At Gulf African Bank, we have a special product where we call the LPO financing. If you win any government tender, any government LPO for supplies or, or developmental project, please come to us and we will finance you based on that LPO or that contract you have gotten so that you can start building your own financials. Because if you do one, two, three LPOs, I'm sure with, with, a, with a discipline, you'll be able to do the, the fourth one and the fifth one by yourself and become a businessman from there. So at Gulf African Bank, we have a product that will be able to put you into business from a startup company. If you win a tender, if you win an LPO for supplies and everything, please come forward. And don't be scared to go out there to look for this business. Go look for that tender, go look for that LPO, because the government has given you the location to participate in, that, in, in, in the development of this country. So thank you very much, and I'm really uh, glad to see uh, you coming together to see how we can be able to develop the youth of this country and move forward. So thank you very much, and have a nice day.